Hey girls, it's Deanna, and today we are gonna be doing a Pilates workout using sliders and light dumbbells. So these exercises are gonna be just like reformer-based Pilates exercises. You are going to love this full body workout. If you like this workout, make sure you check out the Fitness Collective app, my app that has tons and tons of workouts just for you, just like this. They have Pilates, strength, low impact, high impact, hit everything you need to reach your goals. I'll leave a link down below for you to check it out and let's get started. Let's get started. Come on down to your mat and we're gonna put the sliders underneath our feet. So remember, use the hard side on the carpet and use the soft side on hardwood. If you don't have sliders, paper plates will work, DVD covers will work, anything that kind of slides, maybe even socks. Grab your dumbbells here and then from here, you're gonna have those arms nice and long by your side. Feet are gonna be down on the sliders just to start. And then from here, Lengthen out through the crown of the head. Just take a few breaths to kind of get centered here. Make sure your shoulders are in the correct place. Big inhale through the nose, maybe even close those eyes. And exhale it out through the mouth. Good, relax your shoulders. Inhale through the nose. And exhale it out through the mouth. Take a nice deep inhale. And on your next exhale, you're gonna curl up, reaching those fingertips forward. Find a nice deep ab curl, reaching those arms nice and long. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, you curl, reach those arms long in front. And back down. Exhale, lift. <sighs> Drawing those abs in deeper. Finding those pelvic floor muscles now. Making sure those hips stay nice and steady. Exhale, you curl. Inhale, back down. Trying not to tense up through the shoulders and the neck here. Using that length through the arms to try and get that tension out of the neck. <sighs> Thinking of drawing those hip bones together. Again, getting deeper into those pelvic floor muscles. <sighs> Making sure the pelvis stays nice and steady here. You'll feel a little bit of biceps too with those arms here, maybe even a little shoulders and back muscles, helping you stay supported in those arms. Soft bend in the elbow. <sighs> Again, finding length through those fingertips. They're reaching across the room. <sighs> Five more here. <sighs> Good, hold it up in three. Reaching nice and long, two. Last one, we hold it right here. Now from here, reach both of those legs out long, draw it back in, lower the head. Good, exhale, lift, inhale, lengthen those legs, exhale, pull back in, inhale, lower. So nice and slow, curl, reach, exhale in, inhale down. Nice and slow, finding again those lower abs, those pelvic floor muscles nice and deep. Make sure that the hips and the pelvis don't rock as you reach those legs out. And the longer those legs reach, the more challenging it will be for those lower abs. So you may not reach those legs completely straight and that's totally fine. And you can always lose those weights if it's too much tension on the neck, that's totally fine as well. Three more here, just like this. We're gonna change it up. Good, two more. Use that breath to help you. One, just like this. And down. Now, stay lifted, hold it, reach one leg out, in and down. Other side, curl, reach, in, and down, just five on each side, you've got this. Reach, lengthen it out, pull it in, down. Curl, reach, in, down. Neck nice and long, imagine you have an orange between your chin and your chest. Down, curl, reach, in, 
down two more each side lift reach in down curl reach in down one more each side lift reach in down last one here hips staying steady pelvic floor tight and down roll those shoulders out a little bit Whew. all right from here take a little ab break a little rest for the neck here we're gonna have those feet still on those sliders. We're gonna do a little bit of bridging here. So I want your heels more on the slider. So make sure those heels are kind of right in the center here. Toes are gonna lift up. You're gonna bring those arms up towards the ceiling. Palms are facing towards your feet. We're gonna be doing a chest press and a bridge at the same time. So hips are down, nice flat back bridge here from here. I want you to bend the elbows into a goal post shape. And then as you press the arms up, you lift those hips up into a flat back bridge. Then hips come down, elbows down, you lift it right back up. Down and press. We're getting two for one here, getting those hamstrings, getting those glutes, getting the chest. So I want you to squeeze the chest at the top, squeeze the glutes at the top, squeeze those hamstrings. And we're working a little bit on stability with those hamstrings and glutes because we don't want to let those sliders slide away from us, right? Reach those knees forward to lift into your bridge, feeling length through the front body. Here's three, two, last one. I want you to hold it up here. Now rotate those palms in, soft bend in the elbows so you're going into our hug a tree shape. So it's like a chest fly. Now, just that right arm is going to extend out or open the arms out and then pull the arms back up as you pull the knee in. Again, same side with the leg, open, pull it in. Reach and open, pull it in. Reach and open, pull in. So we're getting that hug a tree, a little bit more chest work here, lots and lots of hamstring work. <sighs> Inhale, open and reach, exhale, squeeze. Open and reach, exhale, squeeze. You got this, ladies. Hips stay steady, pelvic floor tight. Low abs pulled in, rib cage knit together. Just for five. Three more. Two more, you've got this. Hips up, last one. Hold it right here, arms stay up. Lower those hips for a breath. Lift it right back up. Make sure everything is in alignment with that lower body. Now, from here, left leg is gonna go out as we bend the elbows. You reach it out, then pull it in and reach the arms back up. So triceps. Bend the elbows, reach the leg, pull it in and up. Reach it long, bend, and up. Again, stabilizing those hips. <sighs> Rib cage knit together, feeling those abs pulling tight just like a corset. Squeeze the back of the arms, squeeze the back of those legs as the arms straighten and as the legs come in. <sighs> Pelvic floor pulling in and up, reaching long through that right knee, stabilizing through that right side. <sighs> Stabilize those hips for four, three. <sighs> Use your breath. Two, one more, you've got this. Hold it right here. Now take an inhale and exhale, melt that spine down one bone at a time. Hug those knees in for a second. Take a second, rock a little side to side. Let that low back release. It's done a lot of work for us so far. We have just a little bit more ab work here and then we'll get into some arms and legs, even though those arms have already been working and those legs too. All right, so from here, those legs are gonna come up into a sort of a Pilates V shape. So the feet are gonna be together, the heels together. You can have the feet flexed or pointed, whatever feels best for you. But those knees are open just about hip distance apart. Now, arms come up. I want you to kind of cross your weights and clasp your hands together. So from here, hips nice and steady. Find that ni nice neutral spine and you have a little bit of roundness in the arms like your hug a tree. From here, we're gonna do an ab curl, reaching those weights in between the knees and then lower it back down. Exhale, curl, and lower it back down. Reach, and in. Reach, 
and in, keeping that neutral spine, making sure as we curl up in that ab curl, the belly is flattening down. We don't want any pooching in those abs. We want to train them to remain flat and pull in, finding that corset feeling. <sighs> Tailbone heavy into the mat. <sighs> Exhaling all of that air out. <sighs> Remembering to relax through the shoulders and the neck. Neck nice and long. From here, we're gonna start adding those legs. We're gonna reach the legs out, curl it in for our double leg stretch. Reach, curl it in, reach, and in. And remember, always lose those weights if you feel like you're getting a little sloppy, you can always do this without weights. Reach. Reach. And in. Three more. Curl. Reach. And curl. One more. Changing it up just a little bit. We're just gonna twist as those knees come in. Down through the center, other side. Reach to the other side. Down through the center, lengthen those legs. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curl, hips stay steady. Wringing out those abs like a wet towel. Find those pelvic floor muscles, find those low abs here. Two more each side. <sighs> One more each side. <sighs> And rest, oh my gosh. Whew. Put those weights off to the side for a second. Just give those knees a nice little squeeze. Close those eyes, rock a little side to side. Big inhales and exhales for a second. Just let everything kind of relax. Take one more breath, really enjoy it. Breathe air into all those muscles that have been doing all that work. And then when you're ready, we're gonna come on up. We're gonna grab those weights and one of our sliders. So you can put one slider off to the side. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of a lunge series here with some arm work. So our arm work is going to mimic, again, reformer work that we would be doing pulling straps. And then our leg work is going to be uh, skaters or lunges that we would be doing on the reformer. You are going to love these. Your legs are going to be nice and sore and it's going to feel so good. All right, I'm going to turn to the side here so you can see these a little differently. So what we're going to be doing is a lunge with a hammer curl. So palms are going to be facing in. So make sure that your left foot is going to be on the slider. Your heel can be lifted. You're just on those toes. You're going to reach it back just a little bit behind you. Now, that leg is not doing much of the work this first exercise here. It's the front leg doing all of that lunging work. The back leg stays super straight. Now, as you go down into your lunge, you're gonna do a bicep curl in a hammer curl grip and then press it right back up. So remember, it's all about that front leg and then up. You curl, press it up. You're pressing through that front heel. Abs are nice and strong here. Neck right in line with your spine. Curl and press that leg back. Extend the arms straight as you stand back up. Use whatever breath works. If it's easier to exhale as you go down, you can do that. Or if you feel better exhaling coming up, you can do that. I'm not a huge stickler. Just make sure it's nice and even and consistent. We're gonna hold it down in two. Last one, hold it here. Now lift the elbows up behind you, pull that back leg in. We're gonna stabilize the front leg, extend the leg out, extend the arms for some triceps. Out, out, good job. Reach, exhale, press. Make sure those shoulders are down your back, stabilizing that front leg. Good, get nice and low through that front leg, reach. Squeeze those glutes as you press it back. Just four, three, two, one, and up. Oh my gosh. Oh, shake it out just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna turn to face you. Same legs are doing all the work here. We're stabilizing 
on that right leg, left leg is on the slider. Now from here, it's gonna go out to the side. Again, the toes are down, heel is lifted, arms are gonna come up to a goal post shape. You're doing a side lunge with an overhead press. So you go down, press the arms up, kind of hinge forward with the upper body just a little, and then come back up. Reach and up. Reach and up. Neck right in line with your spine. So I want you to look about five feet or so in front of you, the length of your mat. Reach. Overhead press. Again, that straight leg is staying stable. It's nice and strong and squeezing tight but all of that work is on that right leg. Five, again, we hold it in four, three, two, last one. Now, pull that knee in, bend the elbows, so those knuckles are reaching towards each other. We're gonna go into our salute. Extend the leg, extend the arms, and in. Extend, and in. Come on, breathe through it. Shoulders away from those ears. Squeeze those triceps as well. Make sure knees and toes are both pointed forward. Get nice and low. Come on, five, four, three more, two, one, and in. Oh my gosh, that little series is killer. We're gonna take a rest from those legs before we go to the other side. We're gonna get a little bit of plank work in, a little bit of arms again. So come on to all fours here, holding onto your weights. So palms are facing in, hands right underneath those shoulders, knees right underneath those hips. We're just gonna do a few bird dogs here, so opposite arm and leg reaching. So from here, reach out one arm and the opposite leg, hold it for just a second, come right back in, and then switch. Now, I like to inhale as I reach the arm and the leg out, feeling length, and then contracting and exhaling as I pull back in to help stabilize my pelvis. But again, feel free to do whatever helps you stay stable and feel that muscle contraction a little bit more. Reach long, pull back in. Neck right in line with your spine. So looking at the front edge of your mat here, Lengthen, and again, if you have any shoulder issues, you can always do this without any weights at all. It's challenging, even just with body weight. Feel that length out, pull back in. The goal here is to not let those hips sway too much. So imagine you have a glass of water, or better yet, a glass of wine on that low back, and you wanna make sure that you don't spill it, right? Reach. Pull in. Let's go two more each side here. Reach and in. One more on each side. And in. Last one here. Now, go back to that same side again. Reach it out long. Hold it. Now, we do a little crunch. If you need to lose that weight, you can always lose it for the wrist. Pull it in. Squeeze and reach. Squeeze. Little knee crunch. Reach and reach again whatever breath feels right just make sure those shoulders stay out of the ears draw your navel in towards your spine pull that pelvic floor in and up four more reach pull it in for three two last one reach it long hold it and down other side, grab that weight, reach it out long, hold it again, with or without the weight on the bottom side, pull, squeeze, and lengthen. Squeeze, and lengthen. So you're getting those back muscles, you're getting that core work, drawing those arms in, a little bit of arm work as well with that weight. Make sure that supporting side elbow is not locked out, three reach it out for two more last one pull it in lengthen hold it and down Whew. shake out those hips a little bit maybe a few cat and cows let that low back release a little whatever feels nice we have a little bit more here and then we'll go back to those legs 
All right, from here, you have a choice to do full side planks if you're super advanced or you can do a modified one. I'm gonna show the first one just with a modification here. So weights are down on your mat. Now, grab the weight with your right hand, left hand, left knee are gonna stay down. Reach that right leg back. Now from here, we're in a kind of a side modified plank here. What I want you to do is a row and extend up all the way down. Row it up, extend and down. So you're working on that core work and all that arm and shoulder work here on that bottom arm. And then that top arm is working against that weight. Pull it up, extend, you're getting whole arm working in this exercise. Here's three, keep breathing. Two, last one. Now, hold it here. Arms are nice and strong. Again, you can stay right here with that modified plank, or if you want more of a challenge, find a full side plank, staggered feet or stacked. Now, twist, reach it under and open. Twist, reach it under and open. Reach, find a little twist, open. Get those obliques, reach. Pull open, stabilize those hips. Just twist through that upper body. Open, come on. Here's four. Come on, keep breathing for three, two, one, and up. Oh my gosh, those are killer. Shake out the wrists a little bit. If you guessed it, we have it all on the other side. I'm gonna come around and just turn around so you can see on the other side. Now, shaking out those wrists a little. Again, both can be in that modified side plank if you need to, or if you're advanced, full side plank for both. It's a lot of upper body work, a lot of core work, so you choose what you need to do today. All right, so hands are gonna be down, weight are down on the mat, and then from here, you're gonna extend that leg out straight, opposite arm grabs that weight. Now from here, row it up and extend and down. Row, extend and down. So getting those back muscles. Now using, if you're in this modification, and even if you're not, using this to help make sure that the shoulder and the arm are in correct alignment. You don't wanna lack out the elbow, protect those joints. Just three more. Two more, come on. Last one, hold it. Now, finding that side plank again, if you would like, or staying down on the knee, you twist and open. Just 10 of these, you've got it. Reach, open, thread the needle, no locked out elbow, breathe. Core is super strong on that bottom side. Just for five more, you've got it. Reach, twist, ring out those abs. Just three, open, two, open. Last one, open and down. Oh my gosh. All right, let's take a little child's pose here. Just wiggle out those hips a little, let those arms relax for a second. Again, roll out those wrists if you need a little second. Stretch them out if you need it. Just take a breath here. One more breath, big inhale. Long exhale. And then bring it on up. All right, we get to do all of that lunge work, all of those arms one more time on the other side. So grab just one of your sliders. Let's get to it. You ready? It's gonna burn, but you're gonna feel so good after it is all complete. Now, from here, that left leg is stabilizing, the right leg is gonna be on the slider. So again, the toe is on, you're gonna reach that leg back behind you, keep that back leg super straight this first exercise here. So you're tightening up through the quads, pulling up through the glutes, same exact arms, exactly like before, just opposite leg. So we do hammer curls as we go down. Ready? Three, two, one. Curl and down, press it up. Remember, it's all about that front leg Make sure the knee stays right over the heel. 
you're powering up through the booty and the hamstring on that front leg. It's all about that front leg here on this first one. Press, squeeze those biceps. Back leg still strong, stabilizing. Make sure the weight is in that front heel. Five more. You've got it for four. We have those skaters in three, two, last one. Now hold it here, reach those elbows back behind you, pull that knee in. Now you skate it back, extend the arm, in. Reach, in, sink nice and low through that front leg, breathe. I know it burns, but those legs are gonna thank you, those arms will thank you. Hold that core in nice and tight as well. Tight like a corset, rib caging it together, navel pulling towards your spine. Get low for four, three, two more, come on. Last one, and up, oh my gosh. Shake it out a little bit. All right, slider stays under that same exact leg. Now, we do those side lunges with our overhead press. Remember, we hinge a slightly forward with our upper body on these. So arms come up onto that goal post. That right leg is still out straight, left leg doing all the work. Here we go. Go down and press it up and stand and down. Down, press it up, find that goal post. Again, do whatever breath feels right, exhaling down or exhaling to stand, whatever feels right. Just make sure all your weight is in that left leg. Press, pressing through the heel to stand. Straight leg on that right side, stabilizing. Five more, come on. Reach, press up through the heels. Three, two, hold it down there, last one. Now pull it in, bend those elbows out wide, reach the arms, reach the leg, and in. Reach, in, finding that salute. Keep the weight back in that heel on that supporting side. Neck in line with your spine. See if you can sink a little lower. Just five more. Reach. Squeeze those triceps, those shoulders. Three, two, one, and up. Oh my gosh. Those legs feel like jello. All right, put your weights off to the side. We have a little bit more core work, a little bit more plank, and then we get to stretch everything out. All right. Both sliders towards one end of your mat. We're gonna be doing elbow planks here. So elbows come down onto the mat, your feet and your toes are gonna go on top of your sliders here. So we're gonna be doing full pikes, lifting those hips straight into the air. If those are a little too challenging for you today, just do knee tucks, pulling those knees in. All right, find your plank position. Here we go in three, two, one, scoop the belly, Lift those legs up. Now, pull it in and reach. Lift and reach. Just eight more. Breathe, exhale, scoop down just for four, three, two, one, and down. Oh, oh my gosh. Take a little child's pose. Wiggle out those hips a little. Get a nice little stretch in the low back. Now, we're just going to stretch it all out and it's going to feel really, really nice. So find a little Z sit here. So one of your feet is going to go to the inner thigh of the other leg. Now grab just one of those sliders on either side of you. So you have sliders on either side. From here, you're going to reach over Get a nice little side bend stretch. Come up, other side. Reach and up. It should feel really good on those obliques, on the spine. Good. You're getting a little sneaky arm work in here too. Stabilizing. This is my favorite side to go towards the little Z sit side. And then here you're getting lots and lots of arm and core work, believe it or not. But you're also getting a nice little stretch. That's what's so 
amazing about Pilates. Reach, and in. you should feel it kind of in the rib cage. Use your breath here. I like to inhale to this side, breathing into those ribs. Exhale to grow tall, but whatever feels right. Two more on each side. Reach, and up, reach, and up. One more each side. Nice job, ladies. And up. All right, let's change sides with those legs. So just switch which legs are doing that Z-sit. Again, same exact thing. Reach it over, come up. Lengthen and up. So especially on this side, this side that you can go a little farther on, you're getting some nice upper back strength work in there to stabilize through that shoulder girdle. And you're getting, again, a nice side bend stretch over to that opposite side, through that whole side body, through the ribs, through those obliques, and up. Again, strengthening as we lengthen through those muscles. Up, reach, and up. Reach, again, doing what breath feels natural to you. I like inhaling to the side, exhaling to grow tall, but whatever feels right. Two more, each side. One more on each side. Last one, and up. Now, bring both of those sliders to one side. You're gonna bring those hands on the sliders as you lay onto your belly. So you might need to scoot back a little bit if you're on your mat. We're gonna be doing a little bit of back extension work here. So hands are down onto those sliders, about shoulder width apart, maybe a little wider, especially if you're really tight in your shoulders. From here, scoop your belly in, and then you're gonna lift into a nice extension. Draw it back down in front. You lift, scoop the belly in here. Again, sneaky little arm work, sneaky little stabilizing through the shoulders as we get a stretch through those abs and as we strengthen the back here. Now, in our back extensions, make sure you're not crunching the low back. You wanna still keep the core engaged. It'll actually increase the stretch through your core as well. Draw the shoulders down and scoop the belly in every time you lift the chest up. Lift for three. Arms are strong for two. Last one. And down. Let's take one more child's pose here. You deserve it. Toes together, knees nice and wide, and enjoy that nice child's pose. Big inhale, long exhale. One more breath. Now from here, come on to all fours, tuck those toes under. We're gonna find a downward dog to stretch out those hamstrings. They've done a lot of work today. You can pedal out those legs. Walk the dog, scoop the belly in, make sure those shoulders are away from those ears still. Core is engaged, helping you stay lifted. Good. One more breath. Then let those heels both drop down. Shake out your head no a little bit. Walk those hands back to your feet. Take an inhale, take a nice forward fold here, stretching out the back the legs, maybe clasp onto those elbows, shake it out a little, and then let your arms be nice and heavy. Roll yourself up to standing one bone at a time, and you are all finished. I hope you loved this workout. If you did, make sure you check out the Fitness Collective app for a ton more workouts. I'll leave a link down below, and have a fantastic day.